Hey guys, Tom from Furturx here. Uh, this video, I'm going to go through uh, sensor cleaning again. I've done a video on it before, um, but this time I'm going to stick purely just to the wet uh, system. Um, also, in my last video, I had a comment recently saying that I didn't show the before and after pictures, um, so the sensor wouldn't have been 100% clean. Well, I never said the sensor was going to be 100% clean in the first place. Um, even Nikon can't get the sensor 100% clean. Um, but I will also this time show you the before and after photos just to prove sort of how clean you can get it. Uh, the last time this camera had its sensor cleaned was when I got it back from Nikon. And that was in May last year. So it's been almost a year since it was cleaned. Um, I've only just started noticing uh, dust spots again uh, last week when I was out shooting something. So uh, it's done pretty well really. Um, so I'll take some pictures now. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to point towards the wall in front of me here. If I just move some of these out of the way. I'm going to select an aperture of about f22. I'm going to have to rest the camera on the table a bit as well. And take a shot. This is going to give me a pure uh, white picture, um, but what I'm going to do um, because you can't, you can sort of see the dust on there now. But um, I'm going to go into Lightroom afterwards, and then I'm going to boost the clarity and the contrast all the way up, or most of the way up, and that will really show up any dust spots. And then I'll do the same again once I've cleaned the sensor. What I'm going to do that was taken at infinity at 35 millimeters. I'm going to uh, put the focus in on the closest focus for this lens and take another shot so I've got two uh, two extremes of focus there to work with and I'll uh, see on the computer later which one shows up the dust the most that's looking quite grubby so probably be that one okay so turn the camera off take the lens off now I'm going to go into the menu and and this camera, it's uh, lock mirror up for cleaning. Press OK. Press OK. And then press the shutter button, which then opens up the mirror, and you can see the sensor. Uh, what I'm going to do first of all is just get a rocket blower. Just give it a very quick blow, just to get any loose dust out. I'm then going to get my visible dust um, swab. This is the size, uh, the size one um, for full frame cameras. If you've got a DX sensor or a smaller sensor, you'll need to buy the slightly smaller size swabs. I think they're called the 1.5s. So get that ready to go. I've got two types of fluid here. Um, I've got the Eclipse and I've got the smear away uh, buy whichever one you prefer I'm going to use the smear away for this ok so you take your swab and you only want maybe one or two small drops maybe three and then you can just see the uh, edge of the swab will pick up that fluid rest the camera down and put the swab in right to the very corners of the sensor and then using light sort of pencil pressure swab across and then using the dry side of the swab come back the other way and lift out and then your swab should pick up most if not all of the dust you may need to do it several times and you can just have a look inside the sensor see if you can see anything what I'm going to do is put that away. I'll put the lens back on. And then I'm going to take another picture of the wall. Same again as last time. So I'll do it focused all the way in. F22 again. And then focus to infinity. I'll have a quick look on the back of the monitor at full size. I've seen there's still a couple of dust spots in there, especially in the corners. So 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back into sensor cleaning mode. This time I'm going to use the small uh, visible dust corner swabs. These are one size only. And get into it. Again, just probably one drop of fluid on here will do. You don't want too much because uh, it won't won't evaporate and you'll end up with smears all over your sensor. So I'm just going to put this swab in the corner. I'm just going to drag it down and wipe it across the edges and then turn it over to the drier side. You might need to just bend it a bit. Like so. And then turn the camera off so the mirror flips back down. If you can see dust uh, through your viewfinder you might also need to give the mirror a bit of a clean. Um, using the dry side of that swab you can just give that a bit of a clean off. You could also do that with a rocket blower. You can also get special swabs to do the focus screen uh, up in there. I'm not too worried about that at this stage. So I'll put the lens back on again. Focus all the way out. And then focus to infinity. And then take a quick look. I'll go put these onto the computer and uh, see what it looks like. So that's it. That's how to clean your sensor. It's really easy. There's nothing to worry about. The only thing is to make sure of have a full charge battery. Or if you've got an AC adapter, use that. And just be sensible. Don't go stabbing at the sensor. Uh, don't press too hard, but just good uh, sort of pencil pressure and give it a swipe over. You might need to do it more than once. Don't reuse the swabs. Use the swab once and then throw it away and use another one. Uh, if you buy the Visible Dust pack, they come in uh, packs of 12 or you can also get little packs of uh, 4 with the little fluid as well. So they're quite good. Uh, again, these are the one size you can also get different types of fluid. Uh, this one is the Visible Dust Plus, and it tells you on the scale, uh, the scale there. And um, that's for sort of medium dirty sensors rather than just water stains. If you've got oil stains, which you can get sometimes, uh, you'll need the slightly more powerful fluid. So we'll skip over to the computer now and have a look at the images. Okay, so here's the first picture I took before uh, cleaning. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to boost the contrast right up, boost the clarity right up. And I'm just going to select the white balance there. Uh, you can see the sensor is quite dirty up in this corner, uh, up here. Um, some of these marks are actually on the wall. The wall is not perfectly white, so uh, all these marks here, this one, some of these here are actually on the wall. Um, but it gives you an idea of these corners, what it was like. Uh, skip over to the next picture. Again, do the same. Uh, again, these marks down here, this one is scratch. And some of these other marks are actually on the wall. Uh, some of these are on the wall as well. So many of these corners up here, you can see the dust. Uh, again, this scratch is on the wall. I'll show you in a minute another picture I just took um, of the sky as well. This one was uh, before cleaning um, with the uh, the focus as close as it would go. This one before I showed you was uh, focused to infinity. So let's come to this one. Uh, again, we'll do the same. Okay, so this one is uh, after the first clean. Uh, again, these marks down here, some of these and these scratches are on the wall. Up here we've got some dust, There's a couple of spots here, up in this corner. Uh, so that was after the, the first clean. 
and the next that's the sky this is after the uh, second clean so boost the contrast up again these ones down here on the wall that's on the wall that's on the wall that's on the wall that's on the wall uh, not sure about that that scratches on the wall that scratches on the wall so you can see we've still got some dust up here um, but like I said you're never going to get it 100% clean um, even when this came back from Nikon after they fully serviced it and fully cleaned it it still had spots on it um, it's inevitable uh, you, you can't really do anything about it this is extreme this is shot at f22 which is something that I'd never shoot at and also I've boosted the clarity and the contrast right up to really make it stand out. And if I put these back to normal you can see quite a lot of them sort of fade back away. And um, I always shoot below f11 so most of this wouldn't even show up anyway. So we'll go to this picture. Uh, this is of the sky outside my window. It should show it up a little bit better of what's actually there. Um, first thing, this blob down here is actually on the window, it was a bug that I didn't see. Um, but up here you can see we've still got quite a few uh, dust spots up here. There's a big bit there and there and some bits at the edge here. So it looks like I might have to give it another go again uh, to try and get rid of those. Um, this is what you have to do. Uh, clean it, take a photo, clean it, take a photo. Um, but you could be there all day and you'll never get it spotless so just get it to a point that you're happy with again this is extreme, this is at f22 with the contrast and the clarity right up um, a situation that I would never uh, shoot in if we bring the clarity down and the contrast down you can see some of them sort of fade away, you can't really see them as much um, and the ones that are there it doesn't take long just to get rid of them so I'm happy with that, I probably won't bother cleaning it again um, as I see it doesn't really take long at all to just get rid of them anyway so ok that's it that's uh, sensor cleaning before and after shots again it's not perfect but you've got to be realistic and you've got to be sensible about what you're going to achieve um, if you've got a completely dust free sealed environment you might get it clean the first time but I'm in my office it's dusty there's dust around um, that's the best that I could do in the situation that I've got and I'm happy with that so um, I'll leave it there for now cheers guys if you've got any questions about sensor cleaning or about anything else just uh, leave a message in the comments and I'll try and get back to you cheers